Hey, welcome back to A Game for Your Thoughts. So, uh, we have this scary animal right here. We're gonna ease up on it and see what's going on. Jeez Louise, that's ugly. Ew, it's got, like, gross eyes. Grody! It's gross, but its design is just disgusting. It's awesome, I love it. I don't know if I can do anything to it yet. I almost don't dare to. But now I'm kind of curious. Oh, yep, can't do anything. Alright, cool. Wasted a shotgun shell. That's always good. Alrighty, here we go. Into the depths. I have a bad feeling about that wolf dog thing. I have a feeling it won't be the last time we see him. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, back outside again. Yeah. Coolio. <laughs> you get it open. I, I was waiting for him to say something. But he didn't. Let's see if there's something. Uh oh. Oh, shoot. Um. Ah. Whoa, shoot, dude. He's dead. Oh man, I knew I was gonna... This thing is disgusting. Oh my gosh. Dude, this design. That's so gross. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not the trees. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come get it. Yeah. Ole. Yeah! Quickly reload. Awesome, we're down to two shotgun shells. <laughs> I feel like... Oh, I was not ready. Ah, uh, I don't. I totally saw him coming, but I was not ready. Okay, where are you, pal? Come and get it. Yeah! What's for dinner? Your face. Die. Yeah, got him. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Joseph. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, how's he not dead? All right. He managed to live. I'm thoroughly impressed. Get in there. Oh, what? It's not dead? Oh, man. What is it? I dropped my glasses back there. Oh my gosh. Fuck. <laughs> oh my hell. Alright. Kind of I would love it if the dog just stepped right on his glasses. Oh my hell. I have to go back in there and get his glasses. This is ridiculous. Got a Scooby Doo situation on our hands. Alright, well, here we go again. Bring it on. Yeah. Take that. Ooh, nice sidestep. I'll draw it away so you can search. I know where they're at. I just wanted to shoot it. Yeah, there we go. Joseph has worn the same pair as long as Sebastian has known him. Cool, let's uh, take this opportunity to collect some resources. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, ah. Let's hurry and heal up and then snag this extra... Yeah, and take that. Am I supposed to kill it? I kind of want to kill it. I'm really curious now. Whoa. Take that. And that. And that. And that. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, what the hell? Where'd you come from? Jeez, Louise. Die. Did I kill it? <laughs> I shot it in the butt. 
Yeah, I got it. Are you dead? Ah, <laughs> good joke, dude. I did get it. Haha, <laughs> right on. That wasn't too bad. And look how much green gel we got. Wow. Things are just looking up for me. This has been... Wow, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was really nervous, but... That's what happens when, uh... You have a lot of ammo and positivity. Mostly ammo. But positivity helps, too. Uh, life lessons here on A Game for Your Thoughts. Solve your problems with positivity and lots of ammo. But mostly positivity. Yeah, tell that one to your... Whoever you usually tell life advice to. I don't know. Alright, what do we have next? That was exciting. Thrilling. Slightly scary. It's not just about being unable to see. Oh, uh, yeah. Feeling normal. It's all right. Let's focus on finding Kidman. <laughs> oh, man. That was a terrible line. <laughs> it's not about being able to see. It's about feeling normal. That was such a cheesy line. Jeez, Joseph. All that for a pair of glasses. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. Literally straight up Scooby-Doo. Except for that one. He was all like, it's about being normal. I don't wear glasses, so I can't tell if that's like legitimately a thing. But it was like a story and a writing perspective. That was just a stupid line. <laughs> but it's okay. Oh, we finished a chapter. <laughs> Bad dog. That was that was also stupid. <laughs> this game is so much fun. We're having fun. I'm having fun. And then obviously if you stuck around this long, you are having fun too. So thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. 420. Wow, there is just drugs all over. Chemical drugs, number drugs. I don't get the 420 thing. It's so stupid. Whoa, hi you scary nail lady. Can I help you? Oh, she can make a return. I hope not. But yet again, if you've played this game, you know what's coming up. If you haven't played this game, you're in for such a treat. And I'm so excited. It's my favorite boss in this whole game. And it's amazing. Alrighty. It's funny because um, with this new microphone setup I just got, I have a poof screen now. And um, I just had Honey Nut Cheerios and I can like taste the honey on my breath. It's kind of creepy actually. But it's really nice because I like the smell of honey. But it's just funny. Uh -oh. That sounded close. Sure did. Ooh, voices. But I want to find all these resources. So I went back and I looked at uh, one of my older videos. And um, I can't remember which one. I think it was like around the big zombie fight in the hospital when the girl was trapped in the, uh, the water box. And I, like right around that time, I, ooh, a document or a map fragment. Hey, Joseph, you still with me? I said something about exploring in horror games because uh, it's you find resources and it's helpful, but it's a lot of people don't because it's scary. And then literally in that you same episode, to just jump. I went to when you're on a explore, place. but then I was like, nah, I'm too scared. <laughs> Which is really funny because I was like, the yeah, rolls by. why would you do that? Imagine. If you had that urge for a minute straight. Now what do we have here? Minutes. You fought it off three times now, Joseph. You're learning to stop it. You're not awesome. listening. Okay. <laughs> I'm not worried about stopping it, Seb. Seb. I'm worried about not wanting to stop it. Uh Some part of me wants to turn. Scary. I don't know why. And I can't reason it away. It's deeper than that. It's like instinct. It's oh man. Things are coming together. Pieces are falling into place. I'm going to stab you. Wow, 
Wow. The idea of this game was so well done. So that's why I think the second one was a lot better. Because, um... It took the ideas that the first one had, and that didn't really work that well, and improved them. And so, I really liked the second game, just because it, it was a major improvement over this, the first one. And I love to see games do that. When the first game has a really good idea, but they weren't really sure yet, and so, like... The ideas are all there, but you're not really sure what. And then the second game comes along, whoa. The second game comes along and just takes those ideas and heavily improves them. And you're like, oh, okay, I think this is more what they were wanting to go for. They just either didn't have the budget, or just they weren't really sure yet. So I really like that, and I, I, even like when I first started playing the second game, I was like, wow, you can really see that they took this idea that they had and really made it work. And I like it. I really, really like it. So eventually, whenever I get around to playing the second one, whether I do it for a review or a let's play, we're gonna have a good time. That one's a great one. I had lots, lots of fun memories of that one, and it's really scary. And just the designs are really, really cool. There's one monster in the second one. There's at least like one really good monster in each of these games. There's the boss that we're gonna be fighting. Ooh, scary boss we're going to be fighting here soon um he is my favorite boss in this whole series and probably one of my favorite horror game characters it just his design is so intimidating and the boss fight's really fun and uh yeah it's just this scary experience and i'm excited but then the second one there is a character or a being, I don't really know. But it's like this giant like goo monster. It's made of like this like white goo. And this thing is just it looks really cool and like the design. It's just a really cool design monster. And so it's always cool to see that. Okay, it's like that looks shady. Let's see here. All right, well, we've had a good longer episode today, so uh, thanks for watching, right? Let me, uh, let me look at my numbers real quick, so let's see. Okay, no, it hasn't been that much longer than usual, but uh, anyways, thanks for watching. We had a good dogfight, and uh, now we're going to see what's coming up next. So thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time on A Game for Your Thoughts.